Thank you, Earl. What a round it was. Matty, 64 bogey three. You bombed it off the tee. 17 to 18 bogeys. Third in strokes gain approach. I mean, wow. When's the last time you've been on that point, that much on point with the irons? Um, you know, I played really well last week, just didn't get the breaks. And this week was just a continuation, I would say. I, I hit it very solid, and yeah, stats showed up. So you felt it coming? Kind of. <laughs> That's great. Okay, uh, tee shot on 17. You, you know, speaking of iron shots, uh, as soon as it left your club, I said, this is a really aggressive line. Did you think it had a chance? You know, it, it wasn't a great number. I thought my 8-iron would end up like 5, 6 meters short. Um, but I kind of hit it really good, and I was a bit pumped. So, uh, you know, it was getting there. I'm Canadian, so I get the meter reference. I don't know if our audience will, but we'll, we'll, we'll get Earl, our host to explain just, that. Just over 20 feet. 20 feet. There 20 feet. Go. Okay. Cut up the hill, I would take that. So I thought I could make an aggressive swing in it, and uh, that's, that's much easier to do on a hole like that. You come to us via the Corn Ferry Tour. That's a tour where you need to be comfortable in going low, making birdies. This venue this week, these three courses, you've got to keep making birdies going low. Comfortable environment for you? Oh, 100%. I think that, that really suits me. That I like making a lot of parties. I like being aggressive. And, yeah, we keep keep going. A lot of fun to watch. Great play. We'll see you out there tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Matt, Matty, you've experienced a lot of weather conditions playing in Europe as well as uh, here. And uh, But when it's calm like this, I mean, do you savor that? Do you, uh, do you prefer that? Do you like that? Um, I don't know. I think um, I appreciate every kind of challenge. Like I, I want to be good in every kind of weather. So, but obviously this is a bit easier. Um, but you still have to hit the shots right. When you come here to a, a tournament that you haven't played before, and there's three golf courses that you have to learn and experience, how much of a challenge is that for you? Yeah, it's quite a challenge. I mean, I came here early. I came um, third, fourth of January. I came to the West Coast to play a few of these courses. Um, and get used to the time zone, um, so that helped definitely a little bit. And but I would still say the courses are quite similar. So this week I think it's not not too much of a challenge. But going forward, it it, it obviously is. This is always the the core, the stadium course is always the one that provides the biggest challenge for most players here. And it must feel good to get off to a start like that on this golf course first, knowing that the other two pretty much give up a few more birdies. Is that how you feel? Yeah, 100%. Uh, I, f I think the way I played today definitely gives me confidence going forward, especially the way I putted. Um, putted my shorties very good and hit it good off the tee, had some good iron shots. So yeah, just, just keep it going like that. You mentioned earlier that you played nicely last week, yeah. but, but you did miss the cut. I did. And if I look back through your um, season so far, there's, there's a few missed cuts and a couple of finishes that aren't very high. What, what has changed in you to produce this round today? Um, you know... I have a new coach since, um, yeah, kind of December. Um, we did a lot of work over the break, um, worked hard on my swing, my short game, my putting, um, and I think everything starts to feel pretty good now. And, yeah, I just want to – I have fun doing that, I w and I have fun getting better. Yeah, yeah that's when, right. When you say a new coach, who is it, and what kind of prompted the change? Um uh, his name is Marian Mustache. He's he's a, he's from Germany. Um, he he worked with my buddy uh, Max Kiefer this year, and I spent a lot of time with him in Europe. And I got to know how he coaches, and um, I kind of liked it a lot. So yeah, I want to try that out, um, and it's been pretty good so far. And I just wanted to ask you. I know your caddy Mike Waite. He's he's caddy for a number of players, had a lot of success. I know you guys um, had your first event when you were an amateur at the Open mm -hmm. Championship. But you've stayed together since that. What do you what do you like about Mike, and what does he bring to your to your game? Yeah, Mike or Sponge, how how everyone calls him. Um, he's first of all, he's just a great guy. He's super calm, even in nervous situations. Um, for me, um, that helped me a lot uh, starting out when you're young, when you're new to everything. That's great to have someone like that who, I mean, he. I mean, if I don't hit it as good, like he would never ever get uh, nervous about anything. Um, he just takes things the way they are and tries to make the best out of it. So his character is a, a really good, really good attribution to everything, I would say. And obviously, he's super, super knowledgeable and, and knows what to do. And one more thing, I just um, you've, this is only your thirteenth event on tour. You're a rookie, but just take me back to the Barbasol tournament in uh, in, in Kentucky. Um, you've had a top ten there. Mm -hmm. And I know you went to school nearby. How much confidence did that give you 
at that event to continue to you know to come over here and play? I mean, super much confidence. I every time you show up and do something good, you know you can do it, right? Um, Barberstall, I mean, it's it's a grass I'm very familiar with, and so is this week actually the green style. I like putting on these a bit more so far than on Bermuda, which is just normal for a German guy, I would say. But um, yeah, that, that's how it is. Thanks, you, Tom. Thank you very Appreciate much. It. Awesome.